Hello everyone and welcome back to Everland 2. I've been waiting to play this for a while, like it's been a few weeks since I recorded the last episodes because I was kind of block recording and I'm really interested to see where the plot goes from here. So in the last episode we came back in time, we lost Manos in the process, and uh, yeah we got uh, the five keys. And uh, yeah, <laughs> lock picking skill. So the five keys to gain access to the kids area thing here where they're playing the project Great Disaster and in the future there was an incident known as the Great Disaster that took out half the map and apparently the Prophet is also a kid in this timeline and he called me the Great Disaster or the Great Destroyer in the future so now I'm in the past with the five keys so maybe I am I don't know let's see what this go how this goes so first you have to bring us the five keys uh what you've got the five keys whoa so you're totally awesome yeah I'll let you in the Prophet will see you in a bit Okay, so he just kind of walked through me there, but no problems. But, uh, yeah. And a save point. Hmm. This door is closed. I have a feeling, uh... <laughs> ah, so that was the prophet down there. Oh. <laughs> Figured it would be that one. Too bad I can't get that coin. So now I'm have to chase the prophet through here. Will you stop following me around? And who do you think you're going you think you are going around breaking everything in our base? You can't prevent the great disaster from happening anyway. You'll never manage to get all the way here. Nee 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 nee. So he's the one causing the Great Disaster somehow. I'm wondering if his Great Disaster means the same thing as what it meant in the future or not. So, hmm. Okay, I think this looks familiar. Remember there was a puzzle game there. Yep, that that is familiar, all right. Hmm. So can I push him to the side? That must be part of it. Because, yeah. Oh, there's one pipe out there. That would explain it. So can I just push this one one up? Hmm. Yeah, this one's giving me trouble. Uh, I take it I do need to get them all into place, though. Hmm, yeah. Oh, can I move these? Uh, these guys do anything? Not really. Huh. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure how I do this part now. So I take it I need to get them all into place before I can, uh, move that thing or pull that thing or use that thing but yeah I can't seem to move that so I don't see what the point of having one here is unless hmm, this might be a lot more complex than I originally thought if it requires me to send them oh I think I see how that's supposed to go now it does so uh yeah I think I got it. Maybe. So if I push that one all the way back over here, it will go up just enough to stop that one. So, yeah, this is a lot more complex of a puzzle than I was expecting. Huh. And I need to get the same thing for this. So I'll need to get it here, which means I need to push this... Okay, that makes a lot more sense. So I push this down, go over here... Push this over. Oh, I need to push that down first. Yeah, I see what I need to do now. So I push this down. It's going to roll out there. Go over here. So yeah. I don't know. Hopefully you all are enjoying Everland 2. I have been really enjoying this game, as you can tell by me being excited to play it. So uh, yeah, that 
There we go. Okay, so I got all the pipes in place, or about to. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm really enjoying this game. Uh, when I logged in, or started playing anyway. Okay, so flick this. And... What now? Hmm. Did that raise the water in the other room? Probably. So now I should be able to push this to get out, I assume. Because that was a concern. So if I go back over here, is there now a... Oh! That's how I do it. Ah! Look what you did! You collected the five keys! You flooded our secret base! Water covers everything! And you shattered my pots into smithereens! I remember now. It mentioned how uh, the five keys, then a flood, and then the great disaster. You are... The Great Destroyer! <laughs> and uh, Velvet, that's her name, right? So that's how you became the Great Destroyer, Guru. I guess we got worked up over nothing. We still have... We still have to stop the Prophet. We ran into him in the future. He's clearly nuts. He must be behind the Great Disaster. Come on. You see those droplets hovering over the water, Kuru? I think I can freeze them with my power, or use my power to freeze them. It's worth a shot. So, I saw these before, and I had no idea how to deal with them. But yeah, that's how. So, I take it we will get to backtrack, and, uh... <laughs> yeah, so, the Prophet is the one who caused the Great Disaster, it looks like. Not me. So, yeah, let's go confront him. Hey! Who are you? What is with all these people getting in our secret base today? You want to prevent the Great Disaster? Is that it? It's those guys again. The Great Disaster? What Great Disaster? And once again, I probably suck at voices. Huh? You're a demon! Hey, he asked you a question. So answer him. I'll just get those the same voice or inflection. I... Don't eat me! I'll tell you everything! It was our plan, me and my friends. For the 50th anniversary, 50th anniversary we're gonna make a great disaster happen. It's their fault too. The adults, they punished us. No fireworks, they said. So we figured we could still light everything up. And boom! But that's it, I swear. You call that a great disaster? A great disaster is when your entire people is wiped out. It's when all you have left is rage and the will to seek vengeance. You be patient. The real great disaster is coming. And... Car. <laughs> The one that will give you a taste of defeat and humiliation. The one that will avenge the crimes you humans committed. We have collected all the energy from this place. Just a little more. A tiny bit more. Who are the new guys? So you're the ones who are going to spark the great disaster. Well, we're here to stop you. Oh, really? You think you can fight us when we are prepared to die for our cause? I'm not fighting of danger. Great Destroyer, save me! <laughs> We're stopping you here and now so we can protect the future. We'll see about that. And... Everybody freeze! Huh. Hey, where did they go? Behind us! It's an ambush! I knew they were dangerous. They can't do anything against us, because we are... They're Imperial Special Forces! Yep. You are under arrest. Great! Thanks to you, we'll be able to stop those demons. Demons? Nobody said anything about demons, did they? No. The suspects are a young man and two young women. Humans. That's definitely them. Plum. Cherry. 
I think it's time we took our leave. <laughs> ah. Kuro, quickly, we gotta stop them! Great destroyer! I'll take care of the special forces! Thanks! Run! Okay, so we're finally chasing after Plum Cherry and the mysterious demon guy who are trying to cause the great disaster. You followed us? Once again, probably doing a horrible job with these voices. Go on ahead, I'll take care of them. Watch yourself. So is this a plumber cherry? Cherry, okay. Okay, let's have a little fun, shall we? <laughs> well, uh, that started out good. Welp, uh, this is a lot harder than I expected. <laughs> oh no, it's just, it, yeah, I, I was staying too close to the camera, I think. Yeah, one of these times I'll get it right. <laughs> I was staying too close to her. So I was a wasn't able to get the jumps in time. Oops, ah, darn it. I think I'm just gonna cut to when I proceed a bit further or catch back up, so yeah. Okay, so I think I'm roughly where I was before, and I'm keeping a much better- oh god. I got crushed by a box. Never mind. Okay, so I found I'm really bad at this, but I'm starting to figure it out. So you have to try and avoid her attacks, because they will add up a one run- they actually killed me, and not, uh, not my stupidity, I guess it'd be. So yeah, you have to do your best to avoid her attacks, because they do hurt, and uh, there we go. You get hearts out of the boxes too, but uh, yeah, I missed attacking her there, which is a problem. Okay, so... There we go. Got past it. Those boxes there always give me trouble, and then... Oh, darn. See, I am so bad at this. I think I might just cut till I actually beat her, because this is a lot of uh, trial and error. Like, I get a little further, and I'm sure that... See, like, I just always screw up a little bit here and there. And even if I get far enough, she might actually kill me if I'm not good enough at avoiding her attacks. This is actually a pretty tough fight, or at least it's a style of game I'm not as good with. So, uh, yeah. But you have to try and keep up with her, avoid all her attacks, and hit her along the way. So, I don't know. This run's doing pretty good. Okay, I might actually use this run or keep this in the recording or the video oh, darn see those boxes always get me I always forget to charge up uh, uh, Fina's attack that's the word I completely forgot her name there so uh, yeah so I'm just gonna cut till when I actually managed to make it through okay so I just made it back to where I was and there was a save point there so even when I fail now oh god yeah so I now have a save point so when I go back I start up here and, uh, yeah, I can't get up there, darn. That is a problem. Yeah, I'm not sure how to get past this part. There's so many boxes that's really a challenge. Uh, there we go. So, I think I am kind of, like, required to use the her ability to cut boxes sometimes. And was that another save point? It kind of looked like it could be. Oh, God. So, she was actually below me that time. I'm not sure my damage- oh, those were just air vents for super jumps, weren't they? I just realized that. Darn. So, we still start back up- oh, that's how I do it, isn't it? Okay, so I'm actually gonna go back, because now that I saw those air vents, that changes things. So, there we go. So now I can come up here, and is she up here? Yes, she is. So I could even do another super jump. Ow. Oops. Darn. So, um... Yeah, like I said before, I'm really not good at this type of game. Or this mode in the game. I'm always going to skip that one because it's right close to the save point. So, uh, I don't know. Why am I not getting the vent jump? 
I don't know, it's just going through there is so much harder than the vents if I can do it. So, there we go. I have to jump when I'm right over the vents. Okay. Ah, darn, I think I need the vent for that one too. I'm just gonna cut to when I make more progress or get to a save point or something. Okay, so I think I can get to the next save point. I saw it last time, so uh, yeah. Hopefully I don't screw this up, but uh... I don't know, this is a pretty interesting fight, to say the least. Uh, I'm just not very good at it, as I have said many times now, and she actually sometimes jumped up there. Huh. It's just the thing about keeping close enough to her, but far enough. I don't know, the right bounce sort of thing. Okay, and... There we go, another save point. So, uh... Oh my god, that's so many boxes. Was there a jump thing? I do not think there was. And the box crushed me, great. So, um... Okay, I think I definitely have to go under, because I cannot deal with that many boxes. So, uh, yeah, this is a really annoying part. This is going really good for a blind attempt at this part. And another save point. Oh, and I thought I actually just ran off the edge there. Now I did. So, I don't know, at least I made it to a save point with, like, not seeing half the area. That's impressive in my opinion. Okay, so I missed that one. Darn. Darn boxes always in the way. Wait, why is the city even going up this high? I'm pretty sure it doesn't go up this high. Yeah, I can't make that jump. Okay, so I definitely have to do this part like that. Okay, so I did get another save point, and she's right up there, and I'm still just behind her. And oh god. Is this the part where I actually have to kill her now? Because it seems like uh, there isn't any distractions and she's just actually shooting a lot. Or is that just like a super attack of hers, or a lot of attack? Oh! I take- we made it! And uh, this is the end. So, what do we have back here? A boss battle? Yep. So, Cherry. Now that you're done warming up, let's get down to business. I figured the damage I was dealing to her wouldn't actually matter in the end, because of the save points. Okay, so she killed me the first time, kind of thought she would, but let's keep trying this. I think we can beat her. Okay, so I've tried this boss a few times now, and I keep dying, but I think I actually found, like, almost a safe spot for it. So, uh, I can charge up, uh, this attack every first time, and, um, miss. But, um, okay, that's the only one that gets me here. Okay, that one got me too. She does this jump back and forth, and, uh, that attack, and... So, yeah, but most of her attacks can't hit me here. And it seems like the best way to beat her. Because only when she does the ball attack... Yeah. Okay, so only a few times do they hit me here. So, I don't know, it still seems like it's a better chance of doing that than actually trying to move. I don't know, I can try and dodge these a bit better too. Okay, so... Not perfect, but I got her at least a half, which is really good. So uh, I'm going to keep trying, and I think I'll just cut back to when I beat her now that I kind of have my strategy down. I think I'm just going to try this corner tactic because it seems to work the best. So uh, yeah. Okay, so I've come to realize that the corner tactic just can't win. Eventually she always beat me doing that. So uh, I've been trying really hard, and I'm not sure if I can actually beat this boss, which is kind of a bit of a roadblock when you're trying to beat the game, but uh... Yeah, it's just, she deals way too much damage, and she's just a bit too unpredictable. Like, with those, uh, fixed arcade shooter kind of bosses, I was able to predict a lot more, and just kind of get used to their patterns sort of thing. 
and like know when to dodge but you know that attack of hers right there see it hit me one time it didn't hit me the other so that kind of thing i don't know where to move and especially when she has so many different attacks and kind of rotations you know it's just not like i don't know what she'll always do like if i charge up my attack here sometimes she'll hit me sometimes she won't see like yeah that hit me but half the time it doesn't sort of thing so i just really cannot deal enough damage and eh. You know, I spent just so much time dodging, it's just hard to deal damage on her. And I don't think I ever really got her under half. And that was using the corner cheat I found, or somewhat cheat. But yeah, she just deals way too much damage. And, you know, that attack doesn't even do much. Uh, the ice just seems to freeze her for a few seconds. It doesn't even damage her. So, I don't know. I am not sure if I'm going to be able to beat this boss this episode or at all or what because I really want to progress with the story and this just really sucks that's just so hard. I don't know, it might just be me, but it's really hard and I've been trying. This recording has gone on 40 minutes to show you how much time I have spent with all this. So, uh, and she hits you in the air too. That's just really cheap in my opinion. And did that even hit her? I don't know, I'll find out in editing. I don't think it did though. So yeah, I mean, I'm trying really hard, and just, I can't do all this stuff at once, it's just not working. Like, sometimes it's just not enough time for me to react to jump for half this stuff, so I am really not sure if I can, you know, I'm gonna keep trying, but I haven't even got down to a quarter yet, so that's not a good sign that I'm learning, it just seems like I can't react quick enough to have this stuff. Like that, she didn't use that attack half the time at the start, so it's like, how do I know to... I don't know, I guess I always have to try and keep a distance from her, but by the time I make the distance, she just jumps over. See? <laughs> I don't know, it's just, I just cannot seem to beat Cherry. And that really sucks, because I feel like I'm, if I can't make progress soon, I'm going to have to stop, and yeah. So, I feel like this is going to be like a 15 minute episode, because I spent the whole time cutting for stuff. I actually was able to avoid that, but not that. <laughs> but yeah, I don't even think uh, uh, Fina really does much damage to her. I don't know, let's see. Yeah, she does some, but I think uh, just a few hits of my sword do, do about the same. If only Fina, if I had Manos, this would go so much easier. Because none of my current uh, allies here are leveled up. So I only can perform the level 1 attacks, which are just so much weaker. So, I don't know, I kind of am getting close to it, just... <laughs> just kind of floating there. <laughs> That's interesting. Okay. So, I don't know, it's just sometimes my jumps just don't perform quick enough sort of thing, it feels like. So pretty much all I can do is spam my attack and try and dodge. And her attacks are just so quick and, like I said, just not predictable enough for me to really do much. So, I don't know, I think I'm going to cut and try a few more attempts and if I can't beat it, I'm just going to come back and end off the episode. So, yeah, let's see how this goes. Oh my god, I did it! Oh, thank god. One hit from dead. This has been going on for probably a good 15-30 minutes now. I'm sorry, Plum. I even forget your voice. You are strong. Perhaps you can stop him, protect him from his own madness. Plum and I were not strong enough. Help him. He is all alone. Aw. Well, unfortunately I can't go back that way. 
So I really hope there's a save point. Yep, it's saved. Who? The other two got away. We have to find them. They're probably long gone. But we have to find them. We want to stop this great disaster. I still can't believe it. If what you said is true, what could have caused such an explosion? It requires enormous amounts of energy. I don't know. Got any ideas, Kuro? Yes. Seriously? Well, then I'm counting on you. We probably won't have to fi find. We probably won't find any clues in Genova. We best look elsewhere. Okay, so now we're on the hunt of uh, the mysterious demon guy and Plum, who's still with him. And please be something useful for once. Never anything useful. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna wrap up this episode here. So, uh, hopefully you enjoyed. Um, it was really, really hard for me. So, uh, yeah, hopefully the next episode's a bit easier. So, until then, goodbye.